So our first speaker will be uh, uh, Mr. Parr. He's going to speak since he's, this, is, this will be a live presentation showing exactly how the, how the website works and how you can access your data. So Tim will be speaking from the table. Okay, make sure this is uh, everyone here okay? All right, so many of you are already familiar with the registry dashboard and, and how it works. Uh, so we'll just touch on a couple of features, but primarily what I want to show you is, is the new and upcoming uh, analytics module and some of its capabilities and how you may be able to use that within your particular practice. So here's the dashboard, uh, and for those of you who have not seen this, uh, this shows you a listing of all of the uh, various measures that have been defined by IRIS and, and how, we can, um, uh, how you can access to see your, your group's performance on those. Any of these particular measures, you can drill down to get uh, a detailed view. On the left-hand side, you see a rolling four-quarter trend graph of the data and how, in this case, we're looking at the group as a whole how it can be, uh, how you're performing compared to the blue line, which is the registry uh, benchmark or registry average. Uh, the registry average is just that. It is the uh, average performance of all of the other participants within the um, uh, IRIS registry. So, um, uh, and on the right-hand side, we see the same information, but you break it down into a, a, a tabular view where you're able to see the actual numerator and denominator numbers of those uh, patients uh, to, that make up this performance number. So in here, in this case, all would represent the total number of patients that had qualified to meet a particular measure. Uh, in this case, we're looking at IRIS-4. Uh, the plus column represents the total number of patients that did actually meet the measure for that quarter, and then the minus column would represent the total number that did not meet that measure. And that is how your performance percentage is calculated. Ad additionally, you can uh, click on any one of these blue numbers. So let's say we wanted to see the 135 patients that did not meet this particular measure. You could click on that and drill down. And uh, this is a demo version, of course, so this information has been de-identified. But there you would be able to see the actual patient name, their medical record number, gender, and date of birth. Uh, and, and only you and, or people within your practice would be able to see that level of detail. So moving on to the uh, analytics piece, which is of great interest to uh, many people. Uh, analytics really, if you think of it as a way to ask questions of your data beyond the measures that have been defined by the IRIS registry, uh, often we get people who say, well, uh, you know, the measures are great, but can I write my own measures? Uh, this is really a way for you to do that. It's also a way for you to be able to identify subsets of your patient population, whether it's based on a particular performance uh, or a medication that they may, uh, 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 medication they may be on, a particular a procedure or disease condition or whatever that case may be. So just an example here I want to show you. We're looking at um, uh, age-related macular degeneration. So we're, we're looking at the years, um, and we're also looking at all the months within that year. And we're looking at our total cataract surgery count. And of those patients uh, who had uh, uh, yes, macular degeneration or no macular degeneration on this side. And then we're sorting by gender. Uh, and so this gives you uh, some detailed numbers here. And again, like before, any of these numbers, if you want to see those 30 female patients that did have macular degeneration, we can click and get that list, and then you can export that out into various file formats, such as Excel or as a PDF, et cetera. So let's say we want to modify this particular report. Uh, there's a fields list that's available. And in here, uh, you can select from any one of these. Now, this is a sample of the fields. A, your EMR will vary as to how the, the types of uh, data elements that are available. But let's just say we're curious as to how many of those patients had post-cataract surgery major complications. So we can drag that over either here in the form and drop it or over here in any of these columns. So let's just say we want to drop it in right there. The plus sign refreshes. And now we can see that um, we have uh, updated our list, and now we have the category to 
uh, to sort by those patients that did and did not have uh, the cataract surgery complications. The graphing at the bottom is also helpful. Uh, many people had requested they'd like the ability to be able to graph this. So as you can see from this list, we have a, a huge number of <laughs> types of uh, graphing that's capable. So let's say we wanted just a basic bar chart and we wanted to add the labels. Uh, this just gives you an example of, of some of that capability and how you can see the comparison of those that did and, and did not have that. So uh, there are, you can build your own use cases in here. Uh, you can start with a clean slate. Uh, there are gonna be several standard use cases that will be distributed by the academy. Uh, and, uh, and then this can also be shared if you have a single person that creates these and wants to uh, export uh, or share it with others within their practice, uh, you can do so. Well, thank you, Tim, that's terrific. Okay.